let's take a look at how to comment code in PowerShell. I have some code here that outputs some text to the console. The quickest way to comment your code is to use the pound or hash symbol at the beginning of the line that you wish to comment out. By doing this, you are telling PowerShell to skip that line when it runs your code. So let's run this code here. You'll notice that the first line was not output to the console, and we are left with just the 1s, 2s, 3s, and 4s. We can put the hash symbol in front of another line, and if we run this code again, you can see that we are just left with the 1s, 3s, and 4s. If you have multiple lines of code that you wish to comment out, you can use a multi-line comment block. To do this, I'm going to put my cursor at the beginning of the section that I wish to comment out and use the less than and hash symbol. Then I'll put the cursor at the end of the section that I want to comment out and I'll use the hash symbol greater than sign, which will close out that comment block. As you can see, this section of code has turned green and I can also collapse this section if I want to. If we run this code again, we are only left with the fours. Commenting can also be used to document your code. I can add a comment at the top to remind myself to do something. Or you can use your comments to tell the person reading your code what is going on. Now that I've shown you how to comment your code, let's look at a few examples and best practices. In this first example, if you ignore the fact that I'm using gibberish in my comments, you can see that we have some very wordy comment blocks. This code will function as intended, but is extremely hard to see what is going on. In my next example, I've added some white space to separate the code from the comments a little bit. You can see what the script is doing a little better, but the comments still seem a little too wordy to me. In this last example, I've shortened my comments to convey only pertinent information. When adding comments to your code, you shouldn't have to explain everything that somebody with a pretty good understanding of PowerShell would know already, so try to keep them short and concise. I've also added some to-dos at the top as reminders to myself, and I've created a comment block with some information about myself. Now that the comments are cleaned up a little bit, we can now see that the script is getting the bit service, displaying some information about the service, starting the service, and then stopping the service. It can be a fine line between too much and too little, but it should get easier as you get more practice writing your own scripts and reading others. And that is how to comment your code in PowerShell.